What's up, everybody, and welcome to another HTML and CSS nuggets video where we cover nifty HTML and CSS topics that will come in handy when working on various web projects. And in this video, we'll cover how to place items in the center using translate function. Before we continue, let me just say that I'm fully aware that we can also use CSS Flexbox and CSS Grid for that. And in most cases, the setup is much more straightforward. However, Translate has its use cases. So it's also good to know this option as well. So imagine this scenario where you have a div, which is going to be a parent div. So let's create a div with a class of parent. And then within the parent, we're going to have a child div. So we're going to set up a div with a class of child. And also we'll place a heading four with a text of center inside of it. So we have this scenario. And then in order to speed it up, I'm just going to use a style tags. So I don't have to create a separate file. And what I would want is first target all the elements. And I'm just going to remove the margin. So I'm going to say margin is zero. And then for the parent, I'm going to add some width and height. So parent is going to have a width of 100% and then height of 50% of the screen height. So I'm going to go with VH units. And then also would want to add a background. So I'll go with background and then blue. So if I would want to place my child in the center, one of the options that I could use is using position absolute, where I'll set my parent to be position relative. So let's go here with position relative. Because now when I'm going to be setting for a child position absolute, I'll use my parent as a reference. So in this case, if I go with child, and if I just add maybe a different background, for example, background red, and then color of white, let's also add text transform. And we're going to go with uppercase, also a little bit of letter spacing, for example, five pixels. And we're going to add a padding of two REMs top bottom and three REMs left and right. So now, of course, I would want to grab my child and place it in the center. So like I said, we can use, of course, Flexbox for that. We can use CSS Grid. But in this case, we'll use Position Absolute. So I'll go with Position, Position, and then we'll set it equal to an Absolute. And now once we do that, we have a few more properties that would place it either on a top or left or right or the bottom. So if I go with top zero and then left zero, you'll notice that my child is going to be sitting all the way on the left hand side on a top. So of course, if I'll change this around and if I'll say bottom zero and then right zero, you can probably already guess that now the div is going to be all the way in the bottom on the right hand side. So knowing that, of course, we can use these values. So in here, I can say that it's going to go back to a top. And this is going to be equal to a left. And I can use REM values for that if I would want I can go with one REM and one REM. And you'll notice that now it's sitting one REM from the top and then one REM from the left hand side. And we already know that, of course, we can use percentage values as well. So in this case, why don't we go with 50%, so 50% and 50%. And we'll notice that yes, it is sitting in the center, but only the left top edge. So that's the key here, where it is sitting in the center, but we're just talking about this edge. So now, of course, our goal is to place this whole child in center. And this is why we would use a translate function, where we would need to use first transform property. So we're going to go with transform and then translate. And we have translate x, we have translate y, or we can just call translate function. And then the first value is going to be x axis. And then the second one is the y axis. And in here, if we use percentages, what we're talking about are the percentages of the child. 
So for example, if I would want to move my child 50% off its own width to the left, which of course would mean that it is going to be placed here in the center more, because again, we're just talking about right now uh, about this edge. Then of course, the center, our child is going to be exactly in the center. So if I'm going to go with a negative 50%, meaning if I would want to move it 50% off its own width to the left, you'll notice how it's nicely in right now sitting in the center. Now, the second value, like I said, was for the Y, because even though right now, horizontally, my child is in the center, it is not vertically, we can clearly see that. So that's why we'll pass in the second value, where again, I'm going to go with negative 50%. And now, of course, we'll lift it up a little bit. So now our child is exactly center, not only one edge, which was the previous scenario. So again, if I'll comment this out, you'll notice that at the moment, our child has the edge that is in the center. So we have a top left hand edge that is exactly in the center. And then in order to set it up where our whole child is exactly in the center, this is where we would use our translate function. Now, like I was saying in the beginning, it's not like you can only use translate when you're using position absolute. So of course, you can use translate, regardless whether you're using position absolute or not. But this is a very good use case, where you can see a translate in action.